Now, since I earlier mentioned about these technologies like AI, big data, or for that matter, automation, how do you think these technologies are impacting today's innovation and how has the role of a leader changed over the years? Yeah, good question. Um, I think we're starting to see it that, and, and we, we, we are, I mean, everybody's kind of predicting this is our future. Um, we are starting to see this become more mainstream, at least in a portion of our customer base. Um, we, uh, in, in November of last year, we had a, a customer user group meeting and we probed some cu customers about, about this and where does advanced analytics and AI and machine learning and, and the next tier um, for a lot of companies, where does that sit in their priorities? And, and definitely it's, it's on the radar and, and, and sh on the short list of things that people uh, or customers plan to get to over the next, you know, months to, to years. Um, and a couple of great examples where, um, you know, when COVID uh, first hit last year, we had a customer that shared with us. It was real exciting because they were able to um, immediately, you know, use advanced analytics to predict COVID-19 related supply shocks, right? So once, uh, you know, the first month or two, uh, when when most companies, you know, just to, to figure out the supply chain and, and how to best manage that to be able to get, um, you know, better control of that, you know, they, they were able to kind of um, get in and, and work through you know, some transportation routing and, and other areas as well to to help make sure that, that they were able to, to keep um, the right lines of supply there. And, an, and another example is uh, a customer that uh, they, you know, have have our quick launch and have uh, J.D. Edwards, but they uh, they also have taken the next step with some machine learning and in, in, in their manufacturing process, they uh, manufacture wax and 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 there's actually a, a fair amount of, of waste, but they've been able to kind of identify in the manufacturing process, uh, you know, what is for, let's say, a, a dozen different pieces of machinery and equipment, what's the ideal temperature if you do in combination of all these 12, you know, pieces and steps of the process, that will have the the the, the most uh, reduction in waste, which clearly is is direct um, dollars to the the bottom line. And so, you know, in a in a you know first project they were able to accomplish there, they've already realized millions of dollars in savings just from what the the machines have have been able to to provide them. So, um, so I do think you know, again we're we're for our customer base probably still in the in the earlier phases. But if you ask me that a year from now, I think. Uh, it's just going to be exciting to see more and more of these stories uh, come into reality for, for for many more customers and, and again, getting, getting to mainstream uh, sooner than later for sure.